Yes, my name is Hernan Lopez, and my moral issue that I'm going to be discussing tonight is the abuse of power in public service. A quick introduction of what I'm going to be covering tonight. Um, I'm going to be going over the abuse of power, uh, sovereign immunity, examples of abuse of power, um, some current cases or cases that have dealt with abuse of power, um, a virtue theory analysis of abuse of power, and some closing thoughts. Um, abuse of power is defined as the improper use of authority by someone who has that authority because he or she holds public office. Uh, for example, this can be you know, the local mayor uh, here in Tucson or anywhere else in the nation that has that power to pretty much you know, control those people around him and they use that power or abuse it in order to get uh, some things that they want and morally this can be very wrong. Um, making choices, moral and otherwise, is inherent in both our personal and professional lives. Um, those who abuse their power have looked beyond the beacons or decision rules that have been established for them. Um, it is a direct violation of the explicit standards uh, and of right and wrong that have been established by federal government and constitutions and local laws. Um, a little bit of what sovereign immunity is. Um, this helps public officials keep themselves free of legal liability for the poor choices we as voters sometimes make in electing capable and honest politicians to govern us locally. Under this guise, the city is not able to be sued for any type of tort. Um, some unethical practices of elected officials that are not uh, bound by any reasonable character of moral fiber or professional decorum. Um, this pretty much is kind of like, in a, like, I see it like a scapegoat for those who who might have, you know, ab abused their power and it was something morally wrong. It's kind of like a, I see it as a scapegoat for them. Um, some examples of abuse of power um, that have recently, recently ar arisen or came up are attacks on academic freedom, abuse of material witness statute, uh, political spying, no-fly and selectee lists, uh, real ID, government secrecy, abuse of the Patriot Act, which also the growing up surveillance society, that's pretty much like the NSA and all their, you know, abuses of power, you know, they've gone into people's accounts or they tap phones without having that proper authority um, established. Um, here's uh, some examples of cases of abuse of power. If you guys really want to know, go into detail on these cases, you guys can always look them up and kind of see what they were all about. Um, one example can be Hazam versus the City of New York, which uh, this case, it challenges the NYPD suspicionless or suspicion less surveillance of Muslim Americans on the basis of their Muslim identity. Pretty much they were going after Muslims just because they were identified as Muslims. So they were abusing their power as going after those, which, you know, sometimes these guys weren't necessarily doing anything wrong. Um, my analysis of abuse of power through the virtue theory, um, I see it as abuse of power shows uh, character traits of being untrustworthy. Uh, you can be seen as a liar. Um, these actions will also create a negative um, impact on the character of 
that office, you know, it will create tension between that office and the public. The public will not trust those officials for any future decisions that they make. And more, most of the time they want these officials out of that office. Um, some closing thoughts. Um, I firmly do believe that a person who holds public office should not lack that moral fiber to do the right things at the wrong at the right times, no matter when nobody's looking. I strongly believe that if you do abuse your power, you should have no immunity whatsoever or be saved or get away with anything that you want. Um, you are responsible because you hold that public office and your standards or your moral standards should be the highest of anybody else. Um, here are some references of where I got my information. Uh, if you guys you know, want to know a little bit more details, um, these are some, some of the websites that I, I got my information from.